So I'm quite excited for this video because this is the first video that is going to lead us into a new kind of function that forms a totally different shape to what we've been dealing with up till now. Up till now we've mostly been looking at the straight line function and now we're going to be looking at a totally new function which means it's going to form a completely different shape on the x and y diagram. So this new equation or this new function is x squared. Whereas up till now we've been looking at things that have straight lines, so things like x plus 1 or 2x minus 4. But now we're looking at things that have an x to the power of 2. So let's see what that's going to do. So first things first, we're going to plug minus 2 into that equation, so it's going to be f of minus 2. Now wherever you see x, you must use a bracket. This is so important, okay, because things can go wrong for you here if you don't use a bracket, and I'll show you why now. So if we use a bracket, that's going to give us minus 2 squared, and minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. But let's say you didn't use a bracket, you would have done this. And technically what that equals, because now the square is only for the 2, and so that's going to end up giving you negative 4. But when you put the minus in the bracket, then this 2 has to take... It, the 2 has to include the minus as well, and it makes things totally different, okay? So... To summarize, in maths, when you substitute something in, use a bracket. And then we're going to plug minus 1 in, so that's f of minus 1. And that's going to give, in bracket, minus 1 squared, and minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. Then the next one will be plugging x as 0, so we'll say f of 0 equals to 0 squared. And 0 squared is just 0. Some of you might be thinking, isn't 0 squared 1? No, what you're thinking of is anything to the power of 0, that's 1. Then the next one is when you plug in x as 1, so f of 1 equals to 1 squared, and so that's just 1. Then the next thing to plug in is 2, and so f of 2 is equal to 2 squared in brackets, and so that's going to give us 4. And now we're going to go plot this on the diagram, remembering that this is your x and this is your y, and we're going to see what kind of shape we will form. So the first point we're going to plot is when is this point over here. So it's when x is minus 2 and y is 4. Sorry, I've called this y, but we can also call it f of x. It's the same thing. And then so we can go two places to the left. That's what minus 2 means. And then four places up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we can put a little dot over there. Next will be the point minus 1 and 1. So that's going to be minus 1 and then 1 up. So that's going to make a little dot over there. And then 0 and 0. So that's just right at the center, the origin, and then 1 and 1, so then that's going to be 1 to the right and 1 up, and then 2 and 4, so that's going to be 2 to the left, so it's 1, 2, and then 4 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, so that's over there. Aha, so here's the new kind of shape, so you could try and make it a straight line, but that obviously isn't going to work because you've missed out on most of the dots, and so this is a totally new shape, we call it a parabola, so what it looks like is it Let's try that again. You go through the dots. Let's pretend we've gone through that dot over there. So that is the new shape, okay? So it's not a straight line anymore. We're onto a totally new kind of graph. It's called a parabola. Notice how it's very similar on both sides. Well, it's actually identical on both sides. So this part is the same as that part, and this part is the same as that part. The reason this is happening is, for example, over here, that x value is minus 1, but this x value is positive 1. But if you plug minus 1 into the equation, or if you plug 1 into the equation, you're going to get the same answer, because this square always turns that negative into a positive. Okay, And that's why the y values of these two points, these two points that are in um, pink, are the same. Then if you look at the two green dots, their x values are minus 2, so if you take minus 2 and the other one's x value is 2, you're going to get the same answer for both 4 and 4 because this square over here always turns that into a positive. And that's why their y values are the same. This y value is 4 and this y value is 4. And that's why you're getting that symmetrical looking property with this kind of graph. Okay, so just remember that this, when you ever you have x squared, what it does is it causes the left side and the right side to be symmetrical. 
because when you square a negative or when you square a positive it always gives you a positive answer and so that's why we get this kind of shape and so for the next couple of videos we're gonna really get into details of this new graph that we've just found called a parabola okay so goodbye to the straight line and now we back now we're on to something called a parabola